Yes. Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. Uh, today's lesson, we are on lesson 12, form 1, topic factors influencing agriculture, subtopic physical properties of soil. On to the ob lesson objectives, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, define the term soil texture, and number two, highlight the procedure of determining soil uh, texture. What is soil texture? Soil texture refers to the relative proportion of various sizes of minerals particles in a given sample of soil. Then we have various methods that we normally use when determining the texture of the soil. And the first one, we have mechanical analysis. And the second one, we have a chemical analysis. On mechanical analysis, we have several procedures that we normally follow. The first procedure is you crush the soil lumps without breaking the soil particles. And therefore, when you are doing this, you are supposed to be very careful because if you uh, break the soil um, st structure, it will end up giving you a misleading information on the appropriate texture of the soil. Uh, the second uh, procedure, we have weigh the vessel that will be used to hold the soil. And by saying weighing the vessel, you are supposed to use uh, a beam balance. We have various uh, beam balance available. And I have portrayed one here, which is an electrical one. And you are supposed to use this machine to weigh the weight of an empty vessel before putting the soil. Uh, then procedure number three, tear the reading and put uh, 50 grams of soil into the vessel. And you're supposed to use a spatula when uh, adding the soil uh, bit by bit into the vessel until the reading on the beam balance reads 50 grams. Procedure number four, sieve the weighed soil using a sieve of diameter 2.2 millimeter as shown on this diagram. And you can see that there is uh, uh, that soil with big particles is the one which is going uh, with small particles is the one which will be corrected at the uh, lower part, uh, while the soil particles which are big sized uh, remains on the sieve. Then repeat the procedure above using sieves of different diameters, uh, 2.0 uh, uh, millimeter then 0 0.2 millimeter, followed by a sieve of 0 0.02 millimeter, and finally you can use a 0 0.002 uh, or and less than that sieve, 0 0.002 millimeter. Uh, the observation will be different uh, sizes of soil particles are obtained after every sieving. As you can see, it is well illustrated here. Uh, the first sieving we, uh, we got uh, gravel as the soil particles which were left on the first sieve, big sized particles, and the size of the particles decreases as you continue to sieve using different uh, uh, sieves. The conclusion is that we can see that uh, soil is made up of uh, soil particles which are of different sizes. Uh, this is the end of today's lesson, and I'm going to leave you with an assignment and the assignment will be in form of questions. The question number one, define the term soil texture. And question number two, state any two classification of soil texture. Uh, for reference, you can refer from the secondary agriculture student book one, uh, the publisher we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. And for more information, for those who would like to clarify something uh, from us, you can reach us in Erimu TV 
through the following addresses. Uh, the first one is SMS. You can use the number as it is well displayed for you there. Then you can use also the YouTube at Elimu TV. Then Facebook, you can also reach us or through Facebook at Erimu TV. And finally, you can use the Twitter. You can tweet us at Elimu TV underscore KE. Uh, thank you for joining me in my lesson. And I hope you will stay tuned to Elimu TV, which is a station wh wh which educates you.